Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome to my channel. And I have a what you warming video for you, which is my weekly or bi-weekly or monthly. It just depends on when I get around to doing it. Uh, home fragrance roundup. Um, I have all melts this time for you. I have started burning my candles again now that I've gotten through a bunch of the um, like Scentsy new releases that I needed to um, melt and make samples of and get my opinions to you on. I've been able to get through all those so I'm finally able to start burning my candles again. So the next um, Home Fragrance Roundup will have some candles for you, I'm sure. Um, let's jump into it. It is all Scentsy, right? Yep, it's all Scentsy this time. I was getting a ton of, um, trying to get through a ton of old bars that I still had a couple cubes of. So I was concentrating on those of ones that I wasn't a super fan of that I'd saved from last season and never got to finish last spring season. So I wanted to get through those first. So first of all, though, I got through Luna Hand Soap. This is jasmine, sweet pea, berries, and sandalwood. This is a beautiful scent, even if you normally do not like um, florals. Love the scent. That is so pretty. And it's great in the body care, too. So that is Luna. Finish that. Okay. I finished a graduation. And this one I love. This is in my um, club, my Scentsy Club which if you don't know what Scentsy Club is, it is a subscription service that allows you to get bars that are retired from regular purchase to continue to get them. If you've added them to a Scentsy Club before they retire, Scentsy will continue to make them for you for as long as it is in your club after it's retired. It's amazing. Um, no extra fees, tons of perks. It's awesome. It's my favorite thing. One of my favorite things about Scentsy is the Scentsy Club program. So Graduation is an amazing scent. It is like leather. If I remember right, it was like leather and um, like sultriness. And there's like a apple note to it as well, but not like um, apple cinnamon, nothing like that. It just kind of adds an extra sweetness, a layer of sweetness to it, I think. But it's so, so pretty. I love it here in my bedroom. So that's graduation. Um, this is one that I had like two cubes of from last spring season. And definitely not a fan of it, but I wanted to finish it. And that's the Jelly Belly Green Apple Artificial Jelly Bean Green Apple is what it is. So happy to be done with that one. This one too, Jelly Belly Juicy Pear. It is. It smells like the Juicy Pear Jelly Belly. So it is definitely authentic, but did not really like that as a home fragrance. I finished up Simply Vanilla, which was from this past Spring Back My Bar. Very nice vanilla scent. I finished that one up. Then I finished up a Love and Kisses Mini, which was the Minnie Mouse scent before the one that we have now. The one we have now is called Totally Mini. And this one is, and that one's like a hibiscus, like a candied hibiscus almost. Um, and then this one is more of like a peach um, vanilla combination. It's very pretty. So that's Love and Kisses Mini. Finished that one. I finished up The Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl. I remember when I got this last year, when it first came out, I wasn't a total fan of it. Melting, actually on cold either. Um, when I melted it, finished it this time though, I did like it a little better. It's still light. It's not a very strong scent. Um, and it kind of has... It's almost like a grilled pineapple quality, which I'm I'm a fan of grilled pineapple, but I don't know. I don't know, but I did enjoy it a lot more this time. It just is still super light. So that is uh, Kiss the Girl. 
I finished up uh, the Bring Back My Bar of Cutie Pie Cupcake. So this is similar to Clementine Cupcake, but more on the citrus and less on the cupcake. And to me, honestly, it smells like Fruit Loops. So it wasn't my favorite. I prefer Clementine Cupcake over this one, but I think it is coming back. Um, from, what I, from what I remember, the Bring Back My Bar in June, this was one of them. Um, I'm sorry if I'm giving you the wrong information and you end up disappointed, <laughs> but I'm like 95% sure this was one of them. So that's Cutie Pie Cupcake. So if you like Fruit Loops, I'm sure you'll like that one. <laughs> At least that's what I get, Fruit Loops. I finished a Sweet Amber and Freesia. This is a nice one. It's a floral mixed with a, a musky amber. Um, not a favorite, but it was it was fine. Coming out, or actually out now, is Dumbo Circus Parade. I know a ton of people love this one. It is a nice scent. It's like citrus. Um, and I think there's mango and then vanilla. It's a nice scent. It's not a favorite of mine personally, but it is nice and it's a pretty good performer. So you can get this one now. My website is in the description for you if you are interested and don't have a consultant, but a ton of people I know love this scent. So that's Dumbo Circus Parade. I finished a pineapple mint. This was from the Life a Garden collection last year. Uh, this is pineapple and a like garden mint, which I'm not a fan of like straight up garden mint. Um, it's authentic the, to the name, but I'm glad to be done with that one. Okay, one that I love and it was in my club. Um, I still think I have a few bars. That is pistachio ice cream. Not the strongest performer, but it is really good. And it's what it's, the name implies. It is a nutty pistachio, creamy vanilla ice cream. It's really good. It's really good. So that's, so I finished one bar and I started working on another. So good. Okay, from the All Is Well collection, I finished Vitamin Meditate. This one was nice. It was fine. Lavender. And like an ambery muskiness. I can't remember everything in it. It was nice. Um, not my absolute favorite, but it was a nice scent. One that I do really like is Vitamin R for Relax. This one, if you never got a chance to um, try Pacific Sandalwood from this happened, this came out a couple years ago in the International Wax Collection. This one is similar to that. Not as sweet though as Pacific Sandalwood. But if you want one that's um, comparable to that one, give this one a try because it is a really nice, sweet sandalwood, relaxing, um, musky, sultry bedroom type scent. Very pretty. So that is vitamin R for relax. Um, next up, Jumpin' Jelly Bean. This is a better pear jelly bean scent to my nose compared to the Juicy Pear Jelly Belly one. I did really like this one. It is what it sounds like. It is kind of like a jelly bean, but it is like a fresh pear candy jelly bean scent. Very nice. So that is Jumpin' Jelly Bean. Finish that. I finished a Moana Spirit of Montanui. This is one that I melt in my downstairs powder room. It's kind of similar to um, aloe water and cucumber, but more of a tropical version of that. It's a nice scent. So I finished that. Also from the All Is Well collection, Vitamin U for Unwind. This was probably my favorite of all of them. It's a sweet apple blossom. Kind of, it smells like there may be citrus in it. I can't remember. 
it's a a brighter sweeter kind of more invigorating rather than relaxing type scent to my nose it's very pretty so that was my favorite of all five of them so that's vitamin u the controversial scent that i absolutely adore it wasn't my club but i have since removed it buzzworthy i don't know if you can tell buzzworthy i love buzzworthy but so many people don't you want a strong one though this is it for you this is a honey scent so you have to like honey to really like this it's like honey and almond mixed together uh, one that reminds me kind of of this is um, from the Harry Potter Hogwarts house collection, the Hufflepuff fragrance. Kind of has the same vibe as this one, and I adore the Hufflepuff scents, I just have to say. That one is going straight into my Scentsy Club once um, it is available to add to Scentsy Club. But Buzzworthy strong honey and almond combination it is so good but if you do not like those scents then you probably won't like this because it is strong it is at least a nine but it's amazing so that is buzzworthy i finished up a chili mango this came out two years ago with the spring summer catalog and it was only around for that one year uh, a lot of people didn't like it, obviously. And uh, I think there might be ginger in it because I had a reaction to it, even though it doesn't say in the description, it didn't say there was ginger, but I think kind of mixed along with the chili notes and the mango that it did because I, I felt myself having a reaction to it. So definitely not a repurchase for me if it ever came back and bring back my bar or whatever, I wouldn't get it again. But that is definitely a more unique one. That's chili mango. All right. This is one that I melted on my birthday, um, which just happened a few days ago. Um, it's one of my absolute favorites. And that is Harbor's Edge. I love Harbor's Edge. It's an aquatic scent. And it has like blackberries in it as well. It's a touch masculine, like cologne-ish. Uh, which I normally do not like, but something about this one, it's not an overwhelmingly cologne scent to my nose. It's more of just like a watery, sweet. Oh, so good. I love the scent so much. So that's Harbor's Edge, and this one's in my club. It will stay in my club forever. I love it so much. So that's it, you guys. Thank you for spending some time with me. That's all the stuff that I've melted the past week or so. I appreciate you guys and hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Until next time, TTFN. Ta-ta for now.